Good morning, students. Today our topic is velocity of transverse waves in structured string. Structured string. Thus, we take one structured string. We are applying one pulse, which means one jerk. The pulse will be developed. Will move in direction of left to right. We want to calculate the velocity of pulse. This is V. Velocity of pulse means here the transverse waves. Transverse waves. Consider on the pulse point of A, B. A, B. The pulse take the minimum length. This is velocity V. The minimum length is DL. Uh, consider in the pulse of the mass is DM. <coughs> mass DM. <coughs> And the length of the arc, I mean the small point of AB on the string, on the pulse. This is AB. I want to calculate the linear mass density. Linear mass density. Mu is equal to linear mass density is nothing but this is dm divided by dl. dm is a small mass of pulse or the arc or the string. Uh, dm is a mass and dl is the small length. So I want to calculate the small mass dm is equal to linear mass density into dm. Linear mass density into dm. <coughs> this is. And next one, the velocity v, the transverse wave velocity v. I want to take the, uh, make an arc. This arc produce, consider on form of a circle. An example of this is pulse. I just I want to take one circle. Point of A, this point of B on the pulse. This is a small length DL or length. I just I want to make one circle point of O. I mean center. This is radius, the radius of circle, and also the just join the point of A and B. This is also radius R. Right? Point. This is overall angle is theta. Overall angle is theta. Divide in this arc, half of the arc. This is theta divided by 2. And this is also theta divided by 2. So I want to calculate this the angle of theta is equal to according to arc in the circular arc theta is equal to arc length divided by radius. You know well theta is equal to dl divided by r. Theta is equal to dl divided by r. Next I want to take in the Acceleration, centripetal acceleration. Why we are taking centripetal acceleration means we are acting the centripetal force. Just I want to take on a centripetal acceleration. A C P is equal to centripetal acceleration of pulse, which is equal to V square divided by R. So standard formula you know well relation between the velocity and the centripetal acceleration. So A C P is equal to V square divided by R. Just consider the centripetal force which is equal to centripetal force which is equal to mass into acceleration. Here mass of R K is I mean this is dm into acceleration of centripetal acceleration. dm into A C P. So the centripetal force of pulse or the arc which is equal to dm into acceleration v square divided by r. The centripetal, centripetal force of the pulse, which means the centripetal force acting act in downward direction, centrifugal force acting in upward direction, almost equal. Centripetal force is equal to centripetal, centripetal force and centrifugal force. And next one, the centripetal force equation is equal to dm into v square divided by r. But here centripetal force which is equal to a dm value. dm is equal to mu into dl. 
mu into dl into v square divided by r. So the final equation centripetal force is equal to mu dl v square divided by r. This is equation number one. The centripetal force of pulse. First, I want to take the pulse of centripetal force of mu uh, f c v is equal to mu dl v square divided by r to make an circle point of this arc, A V arc. And next one here, another one force at in the arc tangent to the point of A and B. This is tension. The tension force act in the points of A and B of the arc of the pulse. Here tangent uh, tension force acting along the direction of tangent to the pulse at a point of A and B, both points A and B. The tangent force is equal to along the acting direction of tangent to the pulse of A, point of A. This is tangent tension force, this is also a tension. Two force act, this is a point of A and B. Same tension force act on the point of A and B. But the pulse act in this direction, this is a tangent to the resultant of tension. The tension force is divided into two components. You know well the two components of uh, horizontal force and vertical force. Uh, move the direction of this direction. The tension force, horizontal tension act in this direction. And the uh, vertical tension force act in this direction. Same phenomena, the point of A is also tension force act in horizontal force in this direction and uh, vertical tension force act in this direction. Listen to me, here the angle A, O, D, I mean the point is C. This is theta by 2. This is almost the angle is also equal. This is also theta divided by 2. So that's just I want to take the angle of two components is uh, T cos theta by 2. This is T sin theta by 2. Here also the tangent uh, tension force along the direction of uh, tangents into the pulse act on the tension is divided into two components horizontal and vertical. Horizontal is as a T, T cos theta by 2 and is also this is T sin theta by 2. The points of arc on the arc points of A and B the pulse the points of pulse on point of pulse A and B, the tension force acts in this direction. I mean, this is a result of tension tangent to the pulse, and same point on the B is also acting in this direction. But this is divided into two components one is a horizontal component, another is a vertical component. Here also, point of B is a horizontal component, this is a vertical component. See, the point A and point B. T cos theta acts in this direction is also T cos theta by 2 acts in this direction. Same magnitude but opposite direction. So the T cos theta by 2 is not a, uh, the force, the tension is not produced in the point of A and B. But T sin theta by 2, T sin theta by 2 acts in two forces in downward direction. So I want to calculate this the resultant force, resultant tension force. Resultant tension force. The resultant tension force or the radial force F is equal to the resultant force is T sin theta by 2 plus T sin theta by 2. So the two forces act in same direction. So that's why I want to take the resultant force just to add. The radial force FR is equal to T sin theta by 2 plus T sin theta by 2. So 2t sin theta by 2. 2t sin theta by 2. So the radial force or the resultant tension force which is equal to 2t sin theta by 2. Here consider sin theta by 2 is equal to theta by 2. Because of the angle is very 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 small. To make an angle is a very small that's why I want to take this a minimum value 2 sin theta by 2 is equal to nearly equal to theta by 2. That's why I want to take sin theta by 2 is equal to theta divided by 2. So the value of 
to to cancel so the radial force fr is equal to t theta this is equation number 2 equation number two. listen to me just consider the tension force to uh, vertical tension force act in this direction so the resultant net, net resultant force is equal to fr is equal to t theta the centripetal force act in uh, centrifugal force act in opposite direction of the radial force or total tension force at the equilibrium condition the two forces are equal at the equilibrium condition the two forces are equal which means equation number 1 is equal to equation number 2 see fcv is equal to mu dl v square divided by r which is equal to this is centripetal force almost equal to centrifugal force it is uh, balanced by fr t theta at the equilibrium condition two forces are equal so the two forces are equal means mu dl v square divided by r is equal to t theta c fr radial force fr is equal to t into theta you know well theta is equal to dl divided by r so this is equation number 3 so uh, equation 1 and equation 3 compare so uh, t dl which means a mu dl v square divided by r is equal to t dl divided by r T dl divided by r. So dl dl cancel r r cancel. Remaining v square is equal to t divided by v. V is nothing but this is the velocity of pulse or velocity of transverse waves. So I want to calculate the v square is equal to t divided by mu. So v is equal to square root of t divided by mu. Square root of t divided by mu. The velocity of pulse or velocity of transverse wave is a mainly depends on tension which means v is directly proportional to square root of tension and v is inversely proportional to square root of linear density square root of linear density and the velocity of pulse is independent of shape of the pulse shape of the pulse this is a velocity of transverse waves in stretched stream see the velocity of transverse wave in structure is V is equal to square root of T divided by V. So, V is equal to square root of T divided by mu. So, V is directly proportional to square root of T and V is inversely proportional to square root of mu and independent of shape of the pulse. Independent of shape of the pulse. So, one example, calculate the velocity of traveling pulse as shown in figure diagram the linear mass density of pulse is 0 0.25 kilogram per meter this is nothing but this is a linear mass density which means mu is equal to 0 0.25 kilogram per meter mass per unit unit length so linear mass density mass density is nothing but mass per unit length the value is 0 0.25 kilogram per meter mu value compute the time time taken by the traveling pulse to the cover a distance of 30 centimeter the distance d is equal to 30 centimeter means 30 into 10 power minus 2 meter the time taken by the traveling pulse i want to calculate the tra traveling pulse time Calculate time t. So t is equal to what? In distance of 30 centimeter. Traveling pulse to cover a distance of 30 centimeter on the string. This is the diagram. The string is uh, just, just to make in this uh, form of a given diagram. The pulse moves in left to right. The velocity of pulse v is equal to. Velocity of uh, transverse wave is equal to v. You know well the velocity of a structured string. Because of this structured string to make a weight. 1.25 kilogram of mass 1, 1.25 kilogram of mass here tension t is equal to tension string is equal to t is equal to mg t is equal to mg you get a mass value 1.2 kilogram the velocity of string or pulse v is equal to t uh, velocity is equal to v i want calculate the velocity equation v is equal to you know well the velocity of structured string is equal to square root of t divided by mu. 
T divided by mu. So V is equal to square root of T is a tension. I mean the velocity string in velocity of pulse V is equal to square root of T divided by mu. Velocity is directly proportional to square root of tension and inversely proportional to square root of linear density. So V is equal to square root of T divided by mu. You get mu value in directly 0.25 kilogram per meter, but there is no tension. But the formula of tension T is equal to mg. T is equal to mg mass into acceleration due to gravity, which is equal to what is the m value in given diagram? M value is equal to 1.2 kilogram. 1.2 kilogram. So 1.2 kilogram into g value is 9.8 meter per second square. 9.8 meter per second square which is equal to multiple this 9.8 and 1.2 the value is 11.76 11.76 kilogram into meter per second square so mass into acceleration is equal to newton mass into acceleration is equal to newton the tension t is equal to 11.76 newton but you know well uh, Linear mass density mu is equal to 0.25 kilogram per meter. So two values are to find out. Just we are applying velocity of str string v is equal to which is equal to velocity of pulse in a structured string v is equal to t value 11.76 divided by mu value 0.25. Just we simplify the value is. 1176 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 25 into 10 power minus 2. So power value is just we cancel. So 1176 divided by 25. So which is equal to square root of 1176 divided by 25. We get the value is V is equal to 6.85 meter per second. 6.85 meter per second. This is the velocity of pulse. But the question is. Calculate the time taken by the traveling pulse to cover the distance of 30 centimeter. To cover the distance of 30 centimeter. 30 centimeter distance covered in velocity of 6.258 meter per second. The pulse velocity is 6.85 meter per second. But I want to calculate the time taken to reach the 30 centimeter distance. So, you know velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. Displacement divided by time. Time is equal to displacement divided by velocity. So, what is the displacement? 30 centimeter divided by velocity is equal to 6.85 meter per second. 6.85 meter per second. This is 30 into centimeter means 10 power minus 2 meter divided by 6.85 meter per second. Meter meter cancel, get the value is second. So T is equal to 30 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 6.85. You get finally T is equal to 44 into 10 power minus 3. So 44 milliseconds. So T is equal to 44 millisecond. In 44 millisecond, the pulse should attain the distance of 30 centimeter in velocity of 6.85 meter per second. This is an example of uh, velocity of pulse or velocity of transverse waves in structured stream. Thank you.